everyone thank you for stopping by today's video now today for Doken battle instead of talking about something that's in game i wanted to talk about something that i would want to be added into the game now i have a little bit more than just three things but for today i think we're only going to keep it at three things just to keep it kind of short and simple uh we're gonna go and just get started with number one all right so for number one we're gonna start pretty simple uh, it's gonna be ease of access. So what I mean by ease of access, I mean I kind of just wish menus and like going through stuff would be just so much simpler. I kind of hate that when you want to do something, you have to go through five different menus and then you have to go back to the home screen and then you have to go back to that one spot you wanted to go. What I mean by that, it's kind of like, so say you're making a team, right? And you kind of realize, hey, maybe this guy's super attack is not a 10 or maybe I, I just got the medals to Doke and Awaken him so I have to train him, but I, I, I'm i in the middle of an event, right? Like I, I, I started up an event and I'm choosing my team. I kind of just wish that like when you click on a unit, you click and hold and you know how you get the options of training, awakening and all that stuff. I kind of just wish when you click training and you finish training and you go back, it just sends you straight back to the character team. Like I hate that when you go back, it sends you to the list of all the units and stuff that you want to train with. And then so you have to go back home, click the start button, go to event and go back to that same event that you were just clicking, set up the character team. Like I wish that other process of the after, like after the results of training, I wish that part was gone. And as soon as you click back, it just sends you back to where you were just left off before clicking that training button. So it's like those little things where it just kind of adds up a lot of time, you know? It's kind of the similar same thing where like after you're done with an event and you you click attempt again because you're trying to get medals for like what like say like a Doken battle or a Doken event I'm sorry. When you click attempt again, you're just brought up to choosing the team again. And I don't want that. You know, like I know it's kind of like it's kind of almost like what's the difference between that and okay? Because for like me, I'm under the assumption where I click attempt again, it just means let's go straight back to the beginning of the map. Let's do the run number two. You know, like I, I want that kind of instant ease of access. Is that so? Do you guys see what I'm trying to say here? It's kind of similar to like summoning, uh, to where like how come there's no skip animation button? You know, like every gacha game has it, and you might say like, oh, just because every game does it doesn't mean this one needs to. Yeah, you're right, but I think a lot of people, especially I guess for Wells or. I guess people that definitely put money into the game probably have thousands and thousands of stones they have to go through. Do you know how much time it takes up to do like an animation summoning? You have to, you know, you have to summon, you have to pull back, then you wait for the animation, and then you have to spam on the phone, on the phone screen, tap, 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 and sometimes it doesn't even tap correctly. Sometimes you tap, 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 and it doesn't go to the next one, and you for a second, oh, it's a fake out, it's a fake out, and no, it's just another R unit, but it's just that the phone or the game didn't register that you tapped it. So I think it's just like these little things, right? It's just like these little things that could just, I don't know, maybe be coded in pretty quickly. I don't know. I'm not a game developer, but I just feel like as a consumer, as a person who plays a game, I just want... I just want to get rid of the seconds that waste that that are wasted, you know. Like it, I just want to move on to the next thing. Just just make it seamlessly, seems seem seamlessly. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like that kind of makes sense. But I think I've kind of proved my point here. What I'm trying to say here. All right, for number two, this one's gonna be a little bit weird because I feel like people can't have can't wrap their mindset around this a little bit. But it's gonna be variety content. I'm kind of at the point after playing this game for like eight nine years on and off that i just don't want it to be the same game the entire time i'm kind of tired that every big event is just hey two new units with amazing animations that we all love like i love it too you know but then besides that what really is there to do Oh boy, another red zone, hooray, that only caters to end game players and it doesn't cater to all the new players, it doesn't entertain all the mid core players. It just, I don't like it that all these new events tend to be favored towards more people that have hundreds, ten, thousands of hours into it, you know? All this money invested into it. Like I kind of wish there was some stuff that other people could do, especially at the, at the lower levels. Um, like i don't know like maybe just make up some mini games and stuff like that you know like you know you you so like one one game that i could just think of on top of my head right now is like instead of doing like world tournament you know when you're playing world tournament and you're moving around the board and stuff like that and there's ai like chasing you and stuff like that i don't know like just like make some kind of monopoly system kind of like game you know it doesn't have to be like monopoly we have to go around like go through all the areas whoever gets the most points i don't know something like that it's just like i just 
I, I, I'm a little bit fearful of like the future for if it's just gonna be like this, like, hey, here's a new unit. Hey, here's a new red zone. Where's like the rest, you know? And some people might say like, hey, the, but there's the, the Dokken quest story. Well, really like, I think most people just do that to get stoned. It's not really anything that people care about the story. Like maybe we'll get a free to play unit, but that's just me, you know, like, I just, I just, I'm just starting to see how there's not a lot to do for all levels of Dokken Pal. It just, it's mainly for like end game people. And I don't know, I kind of wish there was some more stuff in the middle that you could add. Like, I guess like another one that like I've, I had an idea that you could do. I got this from like another gacha game. So what they do, they have like types of like characters, right? So like for us, you know how we have AGL, tech, strength, physical, int. Um, imagine that kind of system for, for like another gacha game. The way they have it, it's kind of like, it, it, they have like towers for each type. And the higher you go into the tower, the, the higher the power level is. So, but it's, it's kind of like an easy A where you go to like stage one to 30 and all that stuff. But like the higher you go, it's, um, you get rewards regardless, right? So I, I guess it would be kind of something like an all-star 999 can event, but for each type, you know, like instead of separating that into different categories in the, the 999 stages, you would make a separate tower or a separate easy A for each one. And so you would just be able to collect, like, it doesn't just have to be dragon stones. Like maybe you could get stickers, you get more Kai's um titles you know frames pictures i don't know whatever they add in the future but i'm just kind of sick and tired but i mean yeah i just i'm i'm just i just kind of wish there was a little bit more stuff to do just 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 not having to do like the hardest level battles like i just didn't wish that had to be that you know like i wish there were some other things you could do um you know i'm not a game developer i never said i was so i don't know how hard it could be but I just feel like for, you know, probably being the top three biggest gacha games in the world, I feel like maybe they could give out more stuff than, you know, just a new character and a new red zone event. And that's it. You know, easy A's and stuff like that. It's the same gameplay. It really, really is. So I might get hate for that one, but that's how I just feel. That's that's what I want. You know, I, I want to change in that. I just I don't want to get rid of those. I like them. But I would love if they added way more stuff into other stuff. So that way anyone can play and not just end game players. <clears throat> and for the third one, this one's going to be a little bit of a, you know, I'm kind of surprised this one isn't really as popular. Um, maybe you had the idea, but I feel like a lot of people, majority don't really talk about this. I kind of wish at the end of a battle, whenever you're done beating the battle and you, you know, you reach like the, 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 the end screen for like all the information, time, items collected and all that stuff. I would like if there was a button that would tell you the character stats of the battle what i mean by that is like they'll show you like all six units i guess the friend one two could be included and they will take they will let you know like how much attack they gave out how much damage did they take and i don't know maybe how many supers they did like i kind of would like to be able to get like a kind of like a little bit of a spreadsheet in game to kind of tell like what each unit did how much they took, how much they gave out. And that way you can kind of get a little bit more information based off like, you know, team synergy with like the, your, 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 your links and, you know, with the, with the leader skills and all that stuff. Like, I, I feel like people would be able to go more in depth and have a little bit more accurate on like what, how much can this team do compared to this team do or when, when, when there's only like a change in one unit or a change in two units, you know, like depending, like, you know, like that synergy kind of thing. Like, I think that'd be really cool. Um, I think a lot of, you know, number nerds <laughs> would really love something like that. I think it'd be really dumb. I'm sure there's like a plugin or something like that. You could do that immediately and just, you know, drag the information out. But I think it'd be really cool for like in, there'll be like an in-game built-in one. But I mean, yeah, you know, that's, it, it's a short list. I have more, but I think these three for now I, it, are kind of like the main ones that I would want. But now, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, do you guys agree with my three points or maybe you don't like them? Let me know in the conversations, guys. Let me know in the comments. Let's let's talk. Let's have a conversation about this. And if you guys think there's something else they should be adding into the system, leave a comment on that, too. I, I really want to hear about this stuff because I feel, you know, we're about to hit the 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 sync for for global and jp we're about to hit the 10th anniversary you know there's going to be a lot of things coming and i really i really care for the game i've been playing it for eight nine years already i i just want to make sure that it'll still be good for the next five years even though you know new people are barely playing i want them to enjoy the experience the same way i did you know i want them to have as much fun as i did so yeah 
thanks for watching guys i appreciate it. if you like the video give it a like if you really liked it i hope you guys subscribe but yeah god bless y'all y'all take care i'll see you guys next time peace everyone